Welcome artists, this is Miss Wing here. I hope you're all well and safe. For today's art lesson, we are going to find shadows. Uh, for this art lesson, you will need some paper. You'll need a hard surface like a book so that you can draw on. Uh, you can use a pencil or marker. I'm using a marker so you can see really well what I'm drawing. And if it's windy, you might need a little bit of masking tape. You can find your shadows inside or outside, but I thought I, uh, I would go outside for today's shadows. So, I found a shadow, I'm looking on the ground, and I see a shadow here from this rose bush. So follow me, and we will trace our shadows that we find. First, position your paper in a way that you like it. So you might move it down here, you might move it down there. I think I'm liking that. If it's windy, you can put some tape on the edge so your paper doesn't flip up and down. And then take your marker and simply trace the shadows you see. I'm gonna go on this side so that my hand isn't in the way of my shadow. And I'm not worried about what I'm drawing. I'm just following the lines that I see. Hopefully it will create something kind of cool. If you don't want to trace something like a plant, you could also bring something out from inside to trace like a toy or some blocks. And here is my shadow art. Bicycles, I found, have awesome shadows as well. So I'm also going to do a, one with, I'm going to trace a bike shadow. So I'm going to position it the way I want, just like with the rose bush. Tape it down. And trace my shadow. When I'm done, it has a really cool artwork. For step two, we're gonna take these drawings and we're gonna do something else with them. So, follow me. We're ready for part two for our Find Shadow art project. Uh, trace a couple different shadows, maybe two or three, and choose the one you like best. This is the one that I'm going to work with now. Uh, next, we're gonna bring it inside and we're gonna add some color to it. You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils. Today I'm gonna to use markers, but it doesn't really matter what you use. Um, I'm choosing four colors, two cool colors, purple and green, and two warm colors, orange and blue. So now what we're going to do is, it, every time you find a new shape, what we're gonna do is we're gonna color it or add a pattern inside that shape. So for example, I found this shape right here closed off. So inside here, I'm going to either color it all one color, or you can choose a pattern and add in a pattern. So maybe for example this triangle here, I'm going to do a circle pattern. And a pattern meaning anything that I repeat over and over and over again. Kind of like the patterns on our clothing. You might have some patterns on something you're wearing right now. Have fun with your patterns. You can make a pattern out of anything. Maybe I'm going to do a heart pattern where I repeat hearts. adding color into your shadow art.
finished with my artwork. Here it is. Every shape is filled with either a pattern or a color. Now it's your turn. Happy creating!